Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly and let's take a look at the areas function in Excel. And the areas function is uh, very simple. Although I haven't had a chance of using this function too much in my personal work, but I somehow know how this works. So the areas function actually accepts ranges. So let's say for example, if I write equals to areas, and this is asking me for a reference, so I could pick up a, a set of cells. And if I close the bracket and if I press enter, this is going to give me one. Why one? Because as of now, I just have one range selected in my, in my areas formula. Let me just delete it. Let me just take you through this example that I've made. So here, uh, the number of areas that we have selected is just one. Here, now that I have two areas selected, first is this, second is this, separated by a comma, I get uh, two here. Do you see that? And also note that I am writing both the areas in an individual bracket. So this is how I'm writing. So the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, areas start another bracket, then pick up this range, which is this range, put a comma, then pick up this range and then close the bracket in which I am writing the ranges and then the close, then close the bracket for areas function. Now there are two ranges here. This is giving me, going to give me two. Similarly, I get three here because I have one, two, and three ranges. And I get five here because I have one, two, three, four, and five, five ranges here. And all the ranges are separated by a comma. That's about the areas function. I hope you like this. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube and read our blogs at goodly.co.in. Take care. Bye-bye.